ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to come and join us for our service for our dearly departed colleague. Please, can we stand up and take one minute of silence before we begin? Thank you very much. You may sit down. Before we begin, we'd like to uh, recognize the presence of our acting, our Dean, School of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Halimu Shauri, PhD. He is here in his capacity as our Dean, as well as uh, in standing in for the acting DVC. Uh, Acting VC, Pwani University, Professor James Kahindi, PhD. And next to him, we have uh, Dr. Minaya, who is standing in for our COD, uh, Department of Languages, Linguistics, and Literature, School of Humanities and Social Sciences, Dr. Nancy Ngoa. And next to her is my co-MC, Mr. Alex Mudanga. So I'll hand over to Alex, since we are sharing this ceremony uh, together. Welcome. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Sarah Wallace. Uh, we want to take this, all protocols observed, we want to take this opportunity to very warmly thank you and welcome you for coming to this memorial service of our brother, friend, family, colleague, Mr. Uh, Thompson Wazome. Thank you for taking time off your busy schedules to come and just share a moment of remembering, uh, not entirely on a sad note because yes we are mourning the loss uh, of our colleague of our friend of our family but we are also celebrating his life god granted him 60 solid years to live to work to be with us and we are also in this same forum taking a moment to thank god for the time we knew him for the time we spent with him for the value he added to us and the value we added to him. So we thank God for him and we would want to open this service with a word of prayer and then continue from there. So may we bow for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this day, for the gift of life, for good health. And this far that you have brought us in this year, we give all the glory and the honor to your name. Thank you for gathering us here this afternoon even to celebrate, to remember the life of our dear family member, colleague, friend, Mr. Wazome, and to comfort each other, even as you also, by your grace and power, comfort us all, O oh God. May you lead us, may you guide us, and may your name be glorified through it all. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Asante Nisana. Uh, so we would like to begin with one hymn. So I'll request you if you can, wherever you are, we can stand up together and sing uh, one hymn. Uh, it will be projected uh, here on the wall. I hope you'll be able to see it. And then from there we'll proceed on to the tributes. So the hymn is called uh, Solid Rock. I'll try to give a, a key, but please help me also. Uh, 
it goes something like this. I know there are various renditions of this hymn for those who know it, but the one uh, we can all sing is the one that goes something like, My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground the sinking sand. All other ground the sinking sand. When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. His oath, his covenant, his blood support me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Verse 4. When he shall come with trumpet sound, Oh, may I then in him be found. Dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Sarah, we'll continue from there with the tributes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alex. Um, we will now begin with our tributes. And we'd like to begin our tributes with a family member. And I'd like to introduce to all of you uh, Thompson Wazome's uh, sister, Ms. Florence Wazome, to come and give you a tribute. Welcome. And you can feel free. Come and Swahili, come and Kizungu. Not French. Bwana Sifiwe. Naito Florence. Mimi ni sister Wazome. Alikuwa mdogo etu. Eh, alikuwa wa mwisho. Eh, nataka kusema asante kwa vile mmekaa na wazome. Hizo siku zote mmekaa na yeye. Na washukuru. Nataka kwa shukuru kwa um, mpaka wakati huu tumefika tangu hiyo habari patikane yote mlionifanyia natoa shukrani zangu. Wazome vile tu mlivumona hakuwa na maneno mengi alikuwa mtulivu alikuwa hapendi mambo mengi lakini he was a very good friend of mine wakati wote nikimhitaji tulikuwa tunawasiliana kwa simu lakini ajabu ni kwamba hii wiki mbili ndio tumkose hatukuwa tumewasiliana hata siju kwa ni ndio nije kuambiwa kwamba amepatikana vile alipatikana but in all i want to say that 
wakati wa wazome ulifika na kila mtu hata ako na siku yake itafika hata kama alipatikana whatever situation he was found in maybe it, maybe it would have happened when in whichever other situation so we want to thank god for his life we want to thank god for everything na tunashukuru kwa sababu sisi tuko kumtumbanya kumpeleke tumpumzishe kwa sababu kila mtu anangojea wakati wake ukifika na yeye pia apumzishwe so asante sana this for you the support you've given us is overwhelming and uh, nimefurahi kwa sababu you've been a good family for wazome may you continue with the same cooperation and mungu awabariki mungu awazidishie ni hayo tu asante sana dada florence uh, sasa the next tribute I'm sorry I will continue in English maana kuna wenzetu wengine ambao hawaelewi Kiswahili hii service inaangaliwa na watu wengi sana So let me continue in English uh, for those who don't speak Kiswahili and will be watching the service online I will now go on to uh, one of our French students I, I think we'll start with ladies first. Is Jacinta here? Jacinta, you can come and say a word on behalf of all the students, not just the lady students. Thank you. God is good all the time. Hey, I'm privileged to be given this opportunity. Dr. Wanzome was our lecturer and he was always caring. There was no there is no lecturer I've seen like Mr. Wanzome. Personally when I was in second year I wanted to defer because of school fees. Then Dr. Wanzome went to an extent of looking for my dad and told him can your daughter come to school she's not the one to pay school fees then i came there was no single day that wanzome will continue the class without seeing the four of us the four tiers alikuwa na make sure if jacinta is not around atapiga simu akulize jacinta why are you not in class i'm waiting for you na he usually motivated me whereby ningekosa kuja class ningejua tu kitu inafuata ni simu ya nzome so nilikuwa i was always ready with my excuses maybe sometimes you had to lie because maybe you don't feel like coming to class so sometimes i lied i say i'm sick but then he tells you kindly make sure at the end of the day you come and sign and take the notes I thank Konzome so much because I last talked to him on the 17 and he was asking me how I was doing with my attachment then he told me after finishing your attachment kindly you will come and see me I want to give you a connection so that was on the 17 unfortunately on some days after there it was when I heard that Dr. Wanzome is no more so I don't know what I was going to do but I thank God he gave me the strength that I can stand before you people so that I can give my condolences to the family because we have lost a great person this is a lecturer mwenye ali make sure anakuprintia notes hiyo ni pesa yake anatumia Hakuna siku angekupatia nota na kwambia enda kwa cyber au print na pesa yako no even if it was 30 pages alikuwa na make sure students wote amewaprintia na mwapatia i am really grateful having such a lecturer na as he's traveling i'm praying that god grants him a safe journey so that he may reach well wherever he's going thank you 
Thank you very much, Cynthia. That was very heartwarming. I call upon Collins to come and say a word also. Oh, he, Collins is also a fourth year student. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Collins Muka, a former student of Mr. Wazome. Mr. Wazome was our lecturer and he was our beloved lecturer. Mr. Wazome was a hero. He is a man who always stood to always ensure that every student he knew lived in happiness within the premises of Pwani University. Mr. Wazome was loved by every student who knew him. I was very, very saddened by the news of his demise. His demise that was very, very untimely. We had a lot of plans on going with Mr. Ozome. We had great projects, matters with French, with Mr. Ozome. But today, I continue with my saddest moments because he's normal. The joyous miracle of joy of birth, the darkest miracle of death, in between a life, a destiny. He has lived his life, and all of us who got to interact with him know and even now feel the effects he brought to our lives. To, to the world, Mr. Azome may just be a teacher or just a lecturer or just a colleague, but to we, at most the French students or the student fraternity, Mr. Azome is our world. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you very much, Collins. Those are very, very heartwarming words. Thank you very much. Um, the next person, I think Dr. Jao, you had a student who wanted to say something. Is he around? Was there a student you had talked to? Yeah, you can come and say something. Please feel free. I'm sorry I didn't get your name. You? Who? Zachary, hold on. Good afternoon. Okay, my name is Zachary Mwiti, a third year student taking Bachelor of Arts in French. Yeah, today we are here to celebrate the life of our beloved lecturer, Mr. Wazome. I think before I joined Pwani, he was the only lecturer that I was sure once I learned at Pwani, you will be the one I will be knowing. Because during that, the COVID-19 pandemic, we did it, we were supposed to join on September, but uh, due to the COVID, the, we can say the lectures started earlier, but I was not aware. And so he called me one day and asked me, why, why are you not attending the lectures? And by that time, I was working somewhere in a, in a shoe boutique. And from that day, he had, he had all of us, those who are not attending the lectures, and he sent us a link via Zoom where he led us through the, what was happening. And he told us not to miss. And from that time, Mr. Wazome, he has been like a father to us, especially the third years, and also the, the French club, Pony University. Yeah, is one of the lectures that 
we, you, you could see his, his message maybe after a few days and the, the last time we had a conversation with him was on the last week of month of June this year and Ian sent me a message congratulating me for this is a project uh, we have started the Kilifi French Club at the Kuadan Primary where I'm teaching some kids French and now he wanted even to offer more support and I was 